This practice focuses on opening the heart center, the shoulders, and the chest. Take a moment to ground down before your practice, allowing your eyes to close, letting go of your day. And when you're ready, you can gently find your way down onto your back, allowing your legs to straighten out on the floor, bringing your arms down by your side. We'll begin to find our big, expansive breath, inhaling through your nose, expand, exhaling through your mouth, letting go. yourself fully over to this big breath, letting go of all the other random thoughts that come in. letting go of that breath. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Allow your lower back to lengthen out. And then we'll bring both legs straight up towards the ceiling and begin to circle the ankles, waking up the feet and the ankles, bringing all of your awareness into the sensation. And then we'll begin to find bicycle legs. So engaging that lower belly, you can bring your hands underneath either side of your sacrum if you need to for more support. And just find your legs moving in circles, waking up the belly, waking up the hip flexors. And then gently come to a stop. We'll find a nice half bridge pose, just rolling the pelvis off the floor. Nice straight line from your knees to your shoulders. Arms come down by your sides, palms up. Then one more deep breath down into the hips. And then you can gently lower your hips down and hug your knees back into your chest. Then we'll cross the ankles and rock our way up to seated. As you find a comfortable cross-legged position, just allow your awareness to move back in. We'll begin to roll the shoulders. We'll inhale shoulders up. Exhale, squeeze the blades together behind you, drag them down. Inhale, roll it up, drag it down. One more time, lifting up. Beginning to gently stretch the front of the throat and the back of the neck. So inhale as you lift your chin up towards the sky, breathing into the front of the neck, and exhale, gently dropping your chin towards your chest, moving nice and slowly, mindfully. If you have a neck injury, you can skip this. From here, we will grab our strap. As you take the strap or the belt, hold on to a buckle in one hand and allow your other hand to be a nice sliding hand. So you're gonna inhale, raising your arms above your head and then slide out as far as you need to to bring it all the way back down behind you. Hold on to the strap as you inhale, lift up. As you exhale, bring it down in front of you. Maybe walking your hand in just a tiny bit. Inhale up. Exhale all the way back down. So really feeling your shoulders in the socket here, nice and plugged in as you move back and forth. Finding the perfect width for your shoulders. And 
then after your next round, you're going to walk your hands in a little bit closer, then bring the arms just slightly behind the head, feeling the shoulders plugged into the joint. Just breathe into your chest here, nice deep breath, shoulders are down from the ears. When you've had enough, you can gently lower down. Then you're going to keep the strap in your left hand and bring the hand behind the back and then reach behind with your right hand and grab onto the strap. So stretching into that left shoulder, just breathing deeply here, using the breath to open up the shoulders. When you've had enough, you can gently release and shrug it out. And then we'll switch sides, taking the strap in the right hand, taking the hand behind your back. Breathing into your shoulders here. Allowing that top shoulder to drop down from the ear. And then gently releasing, you can set the strap off to the side. And we'll bring the hands to prayer position in front of the heart. And inhale as you open your chest to the sky. Exhale, bow it all back in. Do that again. Inhale, open up. Deep breath. Exhale, bowing in. So opening up. Exhale, bring it in. From here, we're going to bring the hands back behind us. Spread your fingers out nice and wide as you straighten your arms to press your chest forward and up. We'll find lion's face here, so stick your tongue out, take a deep breath in, and then... coming back to center. We're going to begin to find a spiral in the spine. So starting with your awareness down in your hips, start to move your hips in a circle, engaging your belly, closing your eyes. Allow your spiral to just start to move up the spinal column. This can look like whatever it looks like. It's more about the sensation, lots of space in the spine. And after you've worked your way all the way up, then gently find your way back to center and stillness. We will switch the cross of the legs, putting the other leg in front. And then begin to find your spiral going the opposite direction. Always lots of space in the spine as though your crown of your head is lifted up to the sky. And again, gently finding your way back to center. Hold on to the front shin with both hands and allow that holding to just help to find length in your spine. Just enjoying that long spine for a moment. When you're ready, you can gently find your way into Downward Dog, spreading your fingers nice and wide on the mat. Just begin to walk out your dog, bending one knee and then the other, stretching out through your sit bones, through your spine, finding all that space and length. Connecting to your Ujjayi breath, nice slow inhalation and exhalation. We'll 
inhale the right leg up in the air stretch it up circle your ankle and then gently switch sides inhaling the left leg up circle that ankle wake it up dropping back down to seated we're going to find a zigzag with the feet so finding your left shin in front of you and bending your right knee right leg back behind you and inhale as you lengthen your torso up and exhale twisting to the left letting that left hand be a support behind you breathing in your twist Gently come back to center. Moving to a side view here as we move to boat pose, lifting both shins up, balancing on the sit bones, pulling the belly in nice and strong. The heart is lifted, shoulders are down from the ears, breathing here. And we'll kick the feet back to the right. Taking that left hand back behind you again. This time lift your pelvis off the floor, knees ground down as you breathe into your front body. One more deep breath here. Stretching open and then gently rock it back down. Bring the legs back up to boat pose. Pulling the belly in. Shoulders are down, heart is lifted, deep breath. This time we'll kick both feet to the left. The right shin is in front of you. Inhale, arms lengthen your torso up, and exhale, we twist to the right. Left hand goes to the right knee, right hand goes behind you. Breathe in your deep twist, breathing into your spine. We'll find our way back for one more boat pose, pulling that belly in. If you want to hold on to the back of your shins for this last one, you can, or you can extend arms out, or if you want more of a workout, you can straighten your legs. Find any one of those. One more deep breath. And kick those feet back to the left. Take that right hand back behind you. Lift your pelvis up. Breathe into the front body. One more deep breath here. Gently bring it down, and we'll find a comfortable cross-legged position again. And we'll bring arms straight out to the side. We're going to begin by inhaling left, exhaling right. So stay with your breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. As you rotate around your spine, lots of space and length. Gently allow that rocking to come back to center. Just sit at center for a moment. And we'll find the opposite breath. So bringing those arms out again, this time inhaling right, exhaling left. rocking it back to center. Sitting at center. We will transition now back down onto our backs. Hug your knees into your chest. 
let that lower back lengthen out, relaxing the spine on the floor. And then we'll gently begin to roll the pelvis up, finding a fuller bridge pose. Just gently walk your shoulder blades towards each other underneath you. The neck stays relaxed, chin is towards the ceiling. Maybe interlacing your fingers under you, maybe just having your arms down by your sides, palms up. Send deep breaths up into your heart space, opening up the chest. Legs are parallel, feet are grounded down. down, hug the knees back into the chest to relax the lower back. And we'll take the arms out like a T, palms down, and let both knees fall over to the left. Stretching that right arm on the floor, send your deep breath into the right chest, down into the hip, into the spine, wherever you feel this twist. One more deep breath here. Then hug the knees back into center and then allow them to fall over to the right. Gaze towards your left hand. Send that breath up into the shoulder, into the spine. Gently engage the belly to hug the knees back to center. And then cross your ankles and just begin to rock forward and back on your spine, holding on to the back of your thighs. Just enjoy massaging your back a few times, eventually finding your way back up to seated. We allow our hearts to be open. We allow our true spirits to shine out. And take one or two blankets and make a nice thick bolster to lay on. Making sure that as you lay back, the blankets hit your lower back and that your head is supported by the blankets and not falling off. The blanket should not be under your sacrum. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your hips fall wide apart. Arms come out by your side, palms up. Just enjoy this nice, passive heart opening place. Take slow, deep breaths as you relax, feeling supported. If your hips are very tight, you can also place blankets underneath your knees. Allowing your heart space to melt open, letting go of any holding in the front body, undoing all of that forward posture that we have during our day from sitting at the computer, driving, working. Before you come out of this pose, just gently bring your feet to the floor and then step them mat width apart and drop your knees together. Giving a little counterbalance for your sacrum. And 
then we'll gently roll off the blankets to one side and find our way back up to a comfortable seated position. We will finish this practice by finding lotus mudra in front of the heart. Pinkies and thumbs are together and fingers are opening up like a flower. Let's find an om together. Take a big breath in. Thank you for joining me. As always, I encourage you to finish your practice with Shavasana. Namaste.